Good morning, church family. I'm Todd Manville, as Jimmy said. Um, we, we got a few slides for you guys to look at to show the status where we're at. So there's the committee on the slide there. Uh, as it says at the bottom, please feel free to reach out with comments and questions if you guys have uh, updates or, or questions about updates or inputs to the process. Uh, we have been formally collecting those inputs for a while now, and, and we're making progress down that path, but there's pictures of the folks, so please feel free to reach out to them. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, one of the first things that group did was set out a process to select our next pastor, and that included setting up these milestones, and underneath, underneath each of these milestones is a variety of tasks that we need to get done, and there's the, the status of the level of completeness. Um, there's a note there on the bottom that says our, our feedback for the profiles is, is now complete, which is, as I was saying a second ago, we have collected that feedback through the surveys and through the listening sessions. Uh, so that part, we've spent a, a number of weeks doing that. Not that you can't still contribute if you have something, but that part is, is finished. And we use that research to go ahead and do um, develop profiles and other things uh, that are farther down the path. But as you can see, we've continued to work ahead as far as we can on the other steps uh, as we take, took those 10 weeks or so to collect that input and, and we're moving down, down there. Underneath, we, we emphasize this regularly, please pray for our church family, the committee, the new pastor that God is, is bringing uh, to this place. Uh, and, and we mean that, right? It, that, that pray belongs under every milestone, so it's just it's foundational. So just please continue to pray. Okay, next slide. So the profiles, uh, we developed these profiles using that feedback that the church provided. And we've developed three profiles. Uh, there's a church profile and a pastor profile and a community profile. So those are the things that will guide the interview process, selecting people, reviewing resumes, asking questions, uh, evaluating the responses to those questions. That, that was the purpose of that feedback that, you, that the church provided during the listening sessions and, and the surveys. And, and the next slide, please. So the responses to the surveys, and I don't want to miss this one, that top line there, unity and clear direction. The feedback we got often sounded like, hey, I don't know if anybody said this before, but this is what we need a thousand times over, right? So we collected that feedback over many weeks and many listening sessions and some, and some follow-up listening sessions or makeup sessions, and, and, and we... You know, that all got lumped together. So I'll say that all those comments were read and discussed by the committee in one form or another, they were. Um, and there was a thousand plus comments. Those comments were aggregated into a database where we looked at trends. And, you know, amazingly, the trends were we want a pastor that preaches from the Bible and the whole Bible. We want a pastor that will set God's vision before us and lead the church to that vision. We want someone to reach out to the community. We want somebody that will... Um, minister to the various age groups in the church, you know, all those things that you would expect, those are the things that the church provided us with the feedback. So that unity makes it much more straightforward in the process to, to move forward. And I just put a, a couple of word maps up there to just show that the listening sessions, obviously people want a pastor that will preach the Bible and lead this church on missions. And then from the vision, we want that you know, we want to take that vision out to the community, preach Christ. You know, there's a lot of other analysis that was done. But anyways, so thank you for your inputs, and we put them to good use, and we're moving forward with that. So as Jimmy said, my name is Shanna Warren. I'm the co-chair of the Pastor Search Committee. And so what's next? We've heard your voice. We wanted to make sure that we are able to put together these profiles that directly represent what our church needs and what God is calling us to do for our community. So our next steps are truly diving into any potential candidates and evaluating if their beliefs and everything that they are aligned with is directly aligned with those profiles to make sure that they match and align up to what we are being called to do here at First Baptist Allen. So then we'll start selecting those candidates for interviews. And as Todd's already said, you guys will see this across every slide we will ever produce. Your continual prayers have to happen constantly as we keep praying too. 
on our next slide, you guys are going to see that as we get those individuals selected and we start moving into the interview phase, we will have those key candidates, those last um, pastoral candidates, pre uh, actually preach here in the pulpit and to all of you before we even have that whole church vote, because it really is a whole selection of all of us to select the person that God has put in front of us to lead us in. So again, continued prayers there as well, so we can constantly be selecting, interviewing, and talking to the right individuals that God is putting in front of us. The next thing we wanted to share with y'all is we have created, and I really want to thank our ministers here who work tirelessly to make all these things happen. So we have created a website um, on the main FBC Allen website, you will see there is a link that says what's happening. And if you click on that, you're going to see the pastor search committee link. And it has everything that we've done up to this point. Once um, today's session is over, we will have these slides added to our website as well. So you'll be able to review them at a later time if you wish. And then we've also set up an email address. So if there's any communications that you wish to have with us, if you have somebody you want to nominate for us to consider as part of our pastor search, they can actually email directly to that um, email address for us to get that very quickly. Um, Danny and I actually get those in our personal email all the time. <laughs> um, so the last thing again, as we've said repetitively, is please continue to pray for us. If you have questions, please ask one of us on the committee. Don't make any assumptions. Please don't start any rumors. We really are here to actually interact with our church body and make sure that we are, again, doing what God has called us to do, which is to find our next pastor who is going to lead us continually into our community and for everything that we are to be doing for, for Christ. So we just hope that um, if you have any questions, you will ask us. And if there's anything else, please let us know. And you guys, Preben um, was really ornery to us last week. So y'all pick on him back for me. A little stinker. <laughs> but we have thoroughly appreciated all of your guidance as well in your shepherd. So thank you, Preben.